I mentioned in the alcohols module that um, after a while you start to get repetition. You make a group from this, you make the other group from that and so on. And for synthesizing carbonyl compounds we've actually seen both of the fundamental ways to do it. The number one massive big most important one is oxidation of alcohols. If I just grab a slide, part of a slide from the alcohol module, you can see that if you take a primary alcohol and you oxidize it, remember that's what this O in square brackets means, you oxidize it, you first make an aldehyde. It's oxidized because the oxidation number goes from minus one to plus one. The oxidation level, which is completely separate from the oxidation number, but just another way to follow oxidations, the oxidation level goes from one to two because in the alcohol, we have a carbon bonded to one heteroatom, and in the aldehyde, we can think of it as the carbon bonded to two heteroatoms, or with a double bond and a heteroatom, however you want to think about it. However, either way, primary alcohols get oxidized to aldehydes, secondary alcohols get oxidized to ketones. Now you might remember, and we'll come back to this in a movie two from now, that of course aldehydes don't just stop there, they can be oxidized further to carboxylic acids. And so this determines which oxidizing agents we use. If you go by the A-level specs, the oxidation oxidizing agent is with acidified um, chromium-6, so acidified potassium chromate or acidified potassium dichromate. You're doing this under heat with a little bit of um, and you distill off the aldehyde as it is made, thus separating it from the alcohol, thus removing it from the reaction mixture so it cannot be oxidized further to the carboxylic acid. Actually, if you remember from the alcohol, oxidation module, we use a different, a milder oxidizing agent to make alcohols from primary alcohols rather than using this very strong dichromate one. We do use the dichromate or the chromate for the secondary alcohol oxidation to ketones. So super way to make carbonyl compounds, you take an alcohol and you will oxidize primary alcohol in mild conditions to the alcohol or secondary alcohol, you can use stronger conditions to get it to the ketone. We actually saw carbonyl compounds being made in a different module, the aromatic module, when we talked about the Friedel Crafts acylation of benzene. Friedel Crafts alkylation, you should remember, is when you react up with an alkyl halide and you stick the R group on the benzene ring. However, there are issues with just using an R group if you remember the rearrangements that one can have. Much better to use an acyl halide like this one, which goes ahead in the presence of a catalyst. You lose the Cl and you make the bond between the benzene and the C double bond OR, the C double bond O R group. So Friedel Crafts acylation makes a carbonyl compound. Now in the aromatic uh, module, we didn't stop with the carbonyl compound. We said you could reduce it, the Clemenson reduction, you might remember, turning the C double bond O into a CH2 group. So you just made a nice alkyl benzene. However, we're quite happy to stop off at the carbonyl compound, because that's what we're talking about in this module. And so a nice way to make a carbonyl compound in which one of the components is a phenyl group or a substituted benzene ring, if you choose, is to go ahead with the Friedel Crafts acylation. Quick reminder of the mechanism, because there's nothing wrong with ever reminding oneself of mechanism. You have a catalyst, aluminium chloride, iron chloride, that um, will accept lone pair from the chlorine, activate the chlorine to the point of actually pulling the chlorine away. So you're left with this acylium cation, which is a very nice stable intermediate cation because it can have a resonance stabilization. Lone pair can come from the oxygen here, making a triple bond to the carbon. So the positive is spread out between the carbon and the oxygen. Anyway, that acylium cation quite readily attacked by pi electrons from the benzene ring. Go through that standard four coordinate intermediate with the positive charge being stabilized there, there, and there around the ring. This is all aromatic material, aromatic extension material, until you make the desired product. So two ways we've seen to synthesize carbonyl compounds. If we want a benzene ring in it, we can use Friedel-Craft acylation. Much more general way to do it 
oxidize alcohols.